Today we know of Duke Kahanamoku as the father of modern surfing, an ambassador of aloha, and a legend. It was in 1912 that he first gained global recognition, smashing the world record in the 100 meter freestyle at the Olympics. And eight years later, he broke his own record. Flash forward nearly 100 years since then, and Michael Petridis could very well be on that same path with multiple state records already under his belt. He's, he's a great example for the swimmers in the pool and training with them. Obviously he's setting the bar high as far as you know, the times he does in the pool, but um, what's more important is like, he's a student of the sport. You know, he's, he's a, he knows a lot about what's going on. He pays attention to what he's doing and what others are doing. And if someone falls off, you know, he's there to say, you know, hey, come on, let's do better on this next one. As a senior at Mid-Pacific Institute, Michael isn't just one of the top high school swimmers in Hawaii, but in the country. Though he admits he wouldn't be where he is today without his big sister, Maya. She's actually 100% of the reason why um, I actually started swimming. Um, you know, I just wanted to be like the older sibling. Started it, I really did not like it at first. My, my mom was so upset I have to be a certain age to quit. Got to that certain age and my sister said, don't you quit, I, I promise, if you just keep with it, it it'll, it'll all pay off. And it has paid off in the pool, but more importantly, that lesson of not giving up. It's one that Michael is now helping to instill in others. I've actually known Mike since before I started swimming. We went to the same elementary school and our parents knew each other. Um, even back then he was a leader in school and out of school, always a good person. And then like, I joined swimming and he started on this side of the uh, for Kamehameha and he really pushed me to get better. He's a great friend, great person. I just uh, you know, really appreciate his you know, quiet leadership. You know, he really is um, great for the, you know, the athletes that we have around, but he's also, you know, like I mentioned, a student of the sport, so he's really in tune with what he's doing in the pool, but he's, he's, a, he's an excellent student. You know, he's studious, he pays attention to there's more than just swimming. You know, we uh, reviewed a lot of applicants this year, and we had some really good uh, people who were nominated by their schools. And Michael's resume, first of all, just jumps off at you because, number one, he is uh, a top-level elite swimmer. You just cannot get past that any way, shape, or form. He's going to be going to Cal on scholarship. He, you know, holds all sorts of records. Just really, you know, a tremendous swimmer. And he also had some interesting community service. One of the things that he did is he started looking at swim meets, and we talked to him about this. And after the swim meets, when they would clean up the pool, there's just hundreds of plastic bottles all over the place. So he created a program um, and actually went out and part partnered, I believe, with Menehune Water, got them to bring in water jugs and encouraged all the teams to have their swimmers and their parents and their volunteers bring their own bottles. So because of that, they comp he completely changed the way a lot of these meets are being run now. And so that's one of those things where there's a lot of people, again, a lot of young people that have great ideas, but very few people take action on them. And that's one of the things that really impresses us about Michael. Beyond his efforts to protect the environment, help his peers, do well in school, and excel at athletics, Michael also finds the time to volunteer at church, and he spends time caring for Alzheimer's patients. Um, I just want, when, when someone sees me and, and they come to Hawaii, I want them to see his message and whatever it is, it just emulates throughout whatever you do, that you need to, to care for others, and you need to make sure that everyone's taken care of, and they know how to take care of others, and it's just an, en an endless circle that goes, that goes around and around. You know, one of the things we look for is somebody who embodies the spirit of Duke. You know, whether it is through athletics or community service, his ability to give back to the community. He, Michael actually has a lot of that. For all that he's done, both in and out of the pool, and the recognition he now receives, Michael remains humble. Just to be in the same sentence as the Duke is, is obviously a great honor. I really want to, to spread the message of aloha, as, as cheesy as it sounds, but I, I really just want to make sure um, that people know that, that I'm here to really just spread the love and that you, you need to have a positive attitude whatever you do in life and it just creates a great outlook.